I'm Jillian Jorgensen. I'm the Education Director for Book It Repertory Theatre. My name is Nora. I'm in sixth grade. My name is Ruchi. I'm in second grade. For today's lesson, we are going to explore a story called A Very Deep Hole in the Ground with a Very Dangerous Creature at the Bottom. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, to do this story, you need a lot of imagination and you need a few props because we're not really gonna dig a hole in our apartment floor. Here's what you're gonna need. To make your hole in the ground, you'll need something to make an outline of the pit. Blue tape or yarn or string. You could also use pillows to make yes. a border. You could even use stuffed animals. Any of those things will work to make a pit. Hey, Nora. Yeah. Uh, what should we use to make make it look like there's a pit in our apartment? Well, since we can't dig a hole, we could build things up from the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so that's one way. What else? What else could we do, Ruchi? Well, if we build things up from the ground, if it was a very deep hole, then we couldn't exactly step over the things. Just be like, hey, this is cool. It's not too tall at all. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what... what what we're trying to figure out is how we're going to make that hole, and it takes some talking, just like how I was talking to Nora, and I was talking to Ruchi. So when we actually make our hole, our very deep hole in the ground, we're going to take some time to talk to each other to figure something out so that we all agree about how it looks. Okay, we've made our pit. We used masking tape and taped it right on the floor in a rectangle. That's the shape that I used, but it could be a circle, or an octagon, or a rhombus, or any shape you want for a pit. If you live somewhere where you can't tape on the rug or the floor, you can also make your pit out of pillows. You can make a shape that is a border of the pillows. Now that we've got our pit, there's only one thing to do. What? Fall into it. Nora? Yes. Will you please fall into a pit? I will. Okay. So this very deep hole in the ground, Nora knows where it is. There's the solid part. And we know this is very, very deep. Okay, Nora, take it away. Look at me walking on this very stable ground, looking at this very stable forest where I'm walking, and I'm not expecting a pit. But I mean, what could go wrong? Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Poor little My Nora. poor child has fallen into a very deep hole in the ground. And I have learned that if I wanted to try this again, I might make my pit a little bit larger so it could really look like falling down. Do Nora, you... hey, what's down at the bottom of that pit? Sharks. Sharks. Oh, no. All right, get out of that pit. Ruchi, are you ready to show us Wait. your terrible fall into the pit? In slow motion? Oh, yeah. Will you do it in slow motion? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. okay, go on over. Oh, look at that. See, it's only a pit when we need it to be a pit. It's Nora, a pit can, now. Can you scooch that way a little bit? Well, thank you for asking for space for your body. <laughs> wow. Thud. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Ruchi has fallen and rolled all the way down. Ruchi showed us in slow motion that she could do something a little more dangerous, a trip, and then falling on her head, but she protected her head. You like Hey, Ruchi, what's a one-word thing of something that's down in the bottom of the pit with you? Dirt. Dirt. Hey, my friends, if we had some really dangerous animals at the bottom of this pit, some very dangerous animals, I would be very scared. So instead... I know Nora and Ruchi have each chosen one of their own stuffed animals. Nora, who did you choose? I chose this very dangerous skunk, and her name is Roosevelt. Thank I you, Roosevelt. I chose this super ferocious cheetah, and her name is Licky. Okay, thank you. Will you please show the time that Roosevelt and Licky were racing each other and didn't know a pit was there and fell in? When I say once upon a time, you show that race. Got it? Mm -hmm. What am I going to say? Once upon a time. What am I going to say? Once upon a time. Okay, go ahead and put Licky on this side so we can see Licky. There we go. Once upon a time. Ready? What are we doing again? We're racing each other from the other side of this 
floor. Oh, so you're going to be where I am, and I'm going to be where you are? Yes, and we have to see who gets to the other side first. Okay, ready, set, Whoa. Whee. Pong, pong, boom. Oh, gosh. Licky, are you okay? I'm fine. Just don't... Uh... Did you just fall in a pit? Yes. I'd better come down and see what's no, down there. No, just don't! Wee! Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Roosevelt. Thank you, Licky. Now we've got two dangerous animals at the bottom of the pit. And okay. they're very angry. Okay, leave them there. Ruchi, come back closer to me. All right. Now let's imagine what could happen next in our story. Ruchi, you just said that they were angry. So now we've got the story of two they're... angry animals down there. Oh. Ruchi, would they're... you want to act it out, write it out, or draw it? I don't know, maybe acted, actually. Oh, yeah, I noticed that Ruchi was having a pretty good time using her animals and her body and her voice to imagine this whole story. Nora, what about you? Would you want to write it down, act it out, or draw it? Well, I think my first choice would be to act it out, but I could also draw it in, like, a comic book format. Oh, sure, cool. Yeah, with, like, different shapes, the shapes of the pit, yeah. too. I think that what I would want to do is actually go back to the other activity and just keep falling and falling and <laughs> falling in a pit because that sounds really fun Same. to me. Yeah, because it's not even real, but we still get to do it, to fall in the bottom of a very deep pit. And then maybe rescue our animals. Maybe rescue the animals. Yeah, but if we rescue the animals, we have to get them out of the pit. And now we're we going to do that. I don't know how we get him out of the pit. That's our story. And I wonder what your story might be. I really love Drama True because I get to explain things that are scary in real life. But I know that they're safe in my imagination. Drama True is when you look all around you and it's your imagination that you see. It's kind of like pretending with a purpose. Real True is when everything is just as it is. Sometimes... My imagination does run away with me in Drama True, and I need a little help to find my way back to Real True. Sometimes my helpers are Nora and Ruchi, the two kids who are mine who did the story with us today. You can do the story of a very big hole in the ground with a very dangerous creature at the bottom with your family, or with your neighbors, or you can even figure out how to do it all by yourself. Happy creating!